Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we will continue to discuss the subject of infidelity in relationships. As Christians, we believe that marriage is a sacred covenant established by God. But it doesn't mean that we are immune to challenges. We are called to honor and cherish the covenant of marriage. In fact, the imagery used in scripture to describe our relationship with God is that of a marriage. How can we navigate the treacherous waters of temptation and stay true in our commitment? How can we steer clear of the trap of marital infidelity? Let's explore some insights from the Bible and glean wisdom from renowned Christian authors along the way. The foundation of any discussion of marriage must begin with God's intent for this sacred bond. In Matthew chapter 19, verse 6, Jesus himself reminds us that so they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. God designed marriage as a lifelong commitment, but we know that challenges can arise. To avoid the snare of infidelity, we must first cultivate a strong relationship with God. When our hearts align with His will, we gain the strength to resist temptation. As the Apostle Paul urges in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. One vital aspect of safeguarding our marriage is investing in open and honest communication. Secrets and hidden desires can create cracks in the foundation. The renowned Christian author C.S. Lewis once said, Affection is responsible for nine-tenths of whatever solid and durable happiness there is in our natural lives. Building a deep emotional connection with our spouse establishes a fortress against infidelity. Let me share an inspiring anecdote from Christian author Gary Chapman's book, The Five Love Languages. He recounts a couple's journey of healing after infidelity rocked their marriage. They discovered that rebuilding trust involved understanding and speaking each other's love languages and focusing on forgiveness and offering grace. By rekindling their emotional connection, they rebuilt a strong and lasting relationship. If infidelity has already occurred, it's important to remember that God is a God of forgiveness and restoration. The story of the prodigal son in Luke chapter 15 verse 11 to 32 illustrates God's willingness to welcome and restore those who have strayed. Christian author and counselor Dr. David Clark in his book, I Don't Love You Anymore, What to Do When the Thrill is Gone, highlights the power of forgiveness and the potential for healing and rebuilding trust in the aftermath of infidelity. Another crucial aspect of avoiding infidelity is nurturing a vibrant spiritual life together. Attending church, studying the Bible, and praying together create a spiritual bond that strengthens the marriage. As the wise king Solomon expressed in Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 12, Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three is not quickly broken. Lastly, let's remember that marriage is a journey and mistakes can happen. When forgiveness is sought and given 
and both spouses are committed to growth, restoration becomes possible. As Max Lucado eloquently wrote, a great marriage is not when the perfect couple comes together. It is when an imperfect couple learns to enjoy their differences. To sum up this video, my dear friends, infidelity is a devastating pitfall. But it doesn't have to define our marriages. By anchoring ourselves in God's word, investing in emotional connection, and nurturing our spiritual lives, we can steer clear of this destructive path. Let's remember that no matter the challenges we face, God's grace is sufficient to heal and restore. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, may God's blessing abound in your lives.